in terms of gigs, coming back to gigs and touring, so money, that's a big question. And Dave, you said before that, you know, you you just went with the Kiwi Ingenuity, the initiative, do it in the backyard, basement, where, whatever it takes just to get the word out. N looking at, you know, going to town or going on tour, what, what's the sort of money you need? What do you need financially to to get out there or, or what's some advice? What's the sort of packages we're looking at? Or if you're just a new band and you want to play a club, do you do you normally have to pay the uh, the venue owner a certain fee or, or take a cut off your door, door sales or, or what? Firstly, you need to decide whether you're touring to promote your band or to make money. And if you're touring to promote your band, you should probably say, we suspect we're going to lose money. Any budget on that? If you're a band that has a profile in this country, you'll say you'll have a promoter generally working with you, and you'll be aiming to make money. And every venue is different with how they do deals. I think you can tour the country as a band with a little profile, and you get the venues where production supplied. So you're not, you know, you might sleep at you sleep in backpackers as opposed to staying at the Regent or the Hyatt or whatever. Anyway, backpackers, that's yeah, pretty flat. Backpackers, yeah. The Langham. Or you buy, you know, you billet. <laughs> you sleep on garage floors. You know, and there's ways to do it. Like, it's hard to put a number from the upper echelon down to, you know, we're starting out. We want to do five shows in the North Island. You know, it's it's hard to actually put a a value on it. From you can go from, you know, you could do a ten dollar ticket, um, like a ticket face price. You know, ten dollars on your ticket up to one hundred and fifty dollars. You know, but it's yeah. Other comments? Um, a few things. I don't think bands should ever play for free and you get asked to play for free quite a lot and turning down those opportunities they're not usually opportunities they're usually somebody just hoping to make some money more money and not have to pay you um, and I think this is one of the things I learned is like I was saying before because I didn't go and talk to people a lot you you find out that if you don't if you don't have even a verbal contract with somebody you're not going to get anything like uh, we went over to Australia and we, this was the tour I was talking about where we were the second band, the first band was Cut Off Your Hands and they were people we were all friends with so we are like, oh it'll be sweet, we'll turn up, we can use their gear, whatever. We turn up, we're self tour managing, they have a tour manager, I say to him, oh so I can just use the drums right? And he's like, oh no. And we can, what about the sound guy? Oh you have to get your own sound guy. And we're in Sydney and it's like 6pm and we go on at 9. Uh, and basically lost my cool um, but yeah bands shouldn't pay for free bands shouldn't have to play for, pay to play because uh, yeah it doesn't make sense venues are always making a cut somehow um, what was our question about we are um, <laughs> looking at the money to get right. tours going in gigs um, and I've I've, uh, I've done tours on almost no budget and you can do it it just means taking up a lot of your time and asking for a lot of favours. Um, I'm good friends with a band who toured the world um, called Bang Bang Ish, and they just sleep on air mattresses everywhere they go and on people's couches because they have no money. But they'll still get around the world and they'll pay for their ticket and they'll pay for their food and it comes out as a zero-sum game, which for them is, is great. Um, but you can make money, I think, uh, touring nationally in a van, you know, uh, you just have to be really tight with your pennies and have somebody who's going to say no the pie is not on the band account and, okay. and stuff like that you know yeah I mean I've organized some tours and um, when I'm kind of orga organizing with venues and stuff most venues you don't have to pay in advance I mean, except for like Auckland City Council venues like Alan Babel um, you have to pay um, well in advance to book it but um, a lot of venues you just pay them after you've taken the door cut, um, which is a lot easier, you don't have to fork out money before the um, show. And a lot of promotion at the moment is online and it can be free and you can go through um, gig guides and, as well, which are also free. I mean, I worked on a show about a month or so ago and it was sold out, um, I think about five, 600 people went and the promoter didn't spend anything on street promotion, like poster placement and stuff because he knew um, online it would work really well and all the fans that were, um, you know, all the people who were fans of the band would check it out online. So 
promotion's quite easy in terms of um, just using the online stuff, using Facebook, um, using lots of the online gig guides, and then with Groove Guide, it's also free. Um, but if you want to kind of go for the bigger scale stuff, you can pay, um, you know, to have a quarter page advertisement in Groove Guide, or pay, you know, two hundred, three hundred dollars to do poster runs throughout the city, <coughs> or you know, locally run Henderson or whatever. But um, I know when you organise shows at Zeal, you can just kind of print off some A3 posters, drop them off at the venue, and you know they'll put some up in the window and they'll drop them off at the schools, um, and it's you know pretty much free. I mean, I work at um, a company that we have you know, massive printers so I can just run off about 100, 200 A3s and just drop them off everywhere and it's free. But um, it's just, it's quite easy and it's very, very doable to organise a tour with little or no money because you just work for the money you get off the door. So don't kind of stress about, oh, I don't have enough money to organise a tour for my band. It's very doable.